Went on vacation, used the Kodak PlaySport. Um, so I didn't want to do a review until um, until we had the opportunity to use it um, to its fullest extent. I'm not going to sit here and go over all the different uh, controls. I may go over some. But basically I want to show you some footage and uh, my initial reactions. And then after we used it for the entire trip, used it for a good solid week. This uh, little guy went through hell this past week. So I um, want to give you uh, what I thought of it. So uh, let's let's start. Okay, so obviously I said Kodak PlaySport. It's a waterproof uh, camera. It's a video camera. So when I uh, first went to get a video camera for the vacation, I wanted something that was waterproof. So I first looked at the uh, the flip, and then I looked at waterproof cases for the flip. Um, but I, I read better reviews on the PlaySport, so I decided to go with it. So after I received it, pretty happy with the quality. It feels pretty sturdy. I've actually dropped this three or four times on the trip. So I've got some little tiny scratches now, because it's been around the block now. Um, but it, it feels pretty sturdy. It's been submerged in the ocean several times. I took it into the hot tub, and uh, I'm going to show you some of that footage starting now. Okay, so what I just showed you was in the hot tub, and that was on the cruise ship. So it was pretty hot in there, like 100 degrees possibly. And uh, it didn't actually fog up that much, the lens. I thought it would. So it does pretty good. The next footage I want to show you is in the ocean. I used it with the X-Shot. And if you haven't heard of the X-Shot, it's basically a rod that you can just uh, put your camera on. And uh, go ahead and tilt it whichever way you want. So if you want to record yourself, just tilt it towards you. And then it extends. So this was really handy. It's a bit awkward carrying around at first. And a lot of people look because they're not familiar with what it is. But <clears throat> once you get home, you get some really great video and pictures you otherwise wouldn't have got. So this is the X shot that I used with it. So I'll show you that footage right now. Jody? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like your little monkey. I'm a koala bear. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have shoes on or sandals? Or? No. Really? So, you're getting an idea of some of the quality. The hot tub was in a very low light setting, and then out in the ocean there, it was pretty bright. And you could tell, the more light this lens has, the better look that it has. So as far as durability, this thing seems to be really, really good. As far as leaking, I didn't have any problems with it leaking. Uh, battery life is not the best. I got three extra ones off of Amazon. Um, they are pretty cheap, just to have on hand. Uh, so I didn't have a problem with that leaking. Um, I didn't have a problem with it leaking into the ports here to hook it up. As far as uh, transferring to the computer, it was really easy. Um, I'm on a Mac, um, and I didn't have any problem at all. In fact, I also used the GoPro, and I love the GoPro, but uh, the GoPro's compressed in an MP4. This is a MOV file that's uh, easily recognized by a lot of computers. So right when you uh, hook it up to the computer, 
you can just drag and drop onto your computer, which makes it really easy. Uh, the footage I'm going to show you now, my girlfriend took on um, at Duns River Falls in Jamaica. So this is footage taken with the placeport of Duns River Falls in Jamaica. Check it out. Okay, so basically I've heard a lot of people, I've read a lot of reviews where people kind of are uh, picking on this camera a little bit. Overall, it's the best reviewed camera that I've seen. Um, but I'll tell you, after using it, it was a lot better than I expected. It's really simple to use um, as far as if you want to change uh, the video size. It's really easy. You just hit the right button and then you scroll up or down. Uh, for the trip, I used 720p um, with 60 frames per second. But if you do some real extensive reading, there's some information out there that says that you should use the 1080p only because uh, the way that the lens is fixed. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, YouTube for a video that's talking about if you should use 720p or 1080p, and it explains how the lens is fixed. So. I, I actually didn't listen to that. I know the quality could have been better at 1080p, but I was concerned about getting the 60 frames per second in case I wanted to slow-mo some of the footage. The e EIS, the Electronic Image Stabilization, I wouldn't even mess with it. Come on, guys. You know, if it was a fancier camcorder, I could see where it would really work. That would just be some cheap electronic thing, just a, probably more of a marketing gimmick than anything. So really, just try and hold it steady. Although the footage that we took, it, you know, you're on vacation. It, it gets a little crazy looking. But if you can, if you really want it stable, just set yourself up to be stable. Okay? Nine. You know, it's more of an action cam. It's a pocket cam. Um, you know, this is the best resolution that it gets for the this current year. Um, I'm sure in five years it'll be different. But if you want the best right now, I would highly, highly recommend this product. Especially if you need waterproof, this is the only way to go. If you see, it, uh, it's more of a telephoto lens. It starts off really close. I wish it was a bit more wide angle. The GoPro is very wide angle. So after using the GoPro, this, you point towards your face, and um, you really have to hold it far away. So you may really consider getting the X shot because you do have to hold it a distance away from your face in order for your face to be in the frame. For the play sport, I rated a 9.5 out of 10. Thanks for checking out this review of the Kodak play sport. Check out some of my other reviews. Subscribe. I've got a lot more cool stuff on my channel and a lot more coming. See ya.